Hey everyone, my name is Black Chaos and this is The Unknown Nine Chapters Immersive Experience where we solve puzzles and take part in virtual events in the Unknown Nine universe. So let's begin. I'm um, just gonna start, play chapters, that's how we begin. All right, welcome to chapters, start your journey, click to start. First we accept the cookies. Let's accept the cookies. Oh, all right, click to start. Loading assets. Welcome to chapters, uncover your potential. You are about to take the Heigman taylor test. This particular version is the result of 70 years of scientific and historical research on psychometry and latent fortitude by the Leap Year Society. Answer each question truthfully as there are no right or wrong answers. Based on your select selections, we will present you the opportunity to enroll in the training department most aligned with your particular aptitudes. Word of warning. Since its foundation in 1888, the LYS has shined as a beacon against the dark spots that defy a regular scientific understanding of the world. The discoveries awaiting you may be unsettling. Are you ready to re-examine the way you experience our world? I am ready. Let's do this. Alright, first question. Do you believe ancient civilizations made scientific discoveries that surpass our own, but which were lost or hidden through the ages. Yes, I often fantasize about this. It's worth exploring, maybe, but we can do so much more with what we already know. No, dwelling on the past is no way to advance. Um, for me, I actually do believe that it is worth exploring. Let's go. Next question. Real knowledge is to to know the extent of one's ignorance, says Confucius. All right, I acknowledge this. Step two. On a scale of one lowest to five highest, how likely are you to trust others based on instinct? Um, actually, fairly high. I do trust people based on instinct a lot. So I'm gonna put this as four. Hit me up with another quote. The best way to find out if you can trust somebody is to trust them. Ernest Hemingway. Very true. I acknowledge. Choose your answer without thinking too much. How do you identify with the statement I often experience deja vu? Oh, strongly agree. I, I experience deja vu often enough that it is something that I can think about or not think about and say that I do experience it, if that makes any sense. Is Deja Vu actually the specter of false timelines that never happened, but did casting their shadows upon reality? Blake Crouch. Alright, Mr. Blake Crouch. Did you know that a hurricane possesses not one, but two eyes? Yes, I knew that. But what are the other answers? I will never come across that information, but I will research it later. No, I did not know that. Okay, well, I did know that. A thing is not necessarily true because a man dies for it. Oscar Wilde. All right. On a scale of one least and to five most, how likely are you to investigate strange noises? <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm gonna straight up admit it on a YouTube video for posterity. I'm a wimp. So that's a two, good sir. The cave you fear to enter holds the treasure you seek. Joseph Campbell. All right, Joseph Campbell. You're a brave fellow, aren't you? You are lost in the woods. What do you do? Uh, where's the fetal position? I'm not in the woods. That's a really good answer. I call for help. I stop and wait. I walk straight ahead. I retrace my steps. Uh, most likely scenario is if this does, if this does ever happen to me, I would be trying to retrace my steps. Although. The correct decision would probably be to stop and wait, but I'm gonna redress my steps because why not? That is probably what I would do. Not all those who wander are lost. 
JRR token. Okay, all right. Bring it in the big quotes. In a library, you stumble upon a play that reputedly drives its readers mad. What do you do? I immediately read the play as I'm confident my mind is strong enough to conquer it. I convince someone else to read the play for me. I take the play home for research. I leave the play alone. I destroy the play to protect the innocent. Um, I would most likely leave the play alone, I believe. Innocence is a kind of insanity, Graham Green. All right. Have you been looking for hidden messages during the course of this exam? Not particularly, no. But now that I realize it, I should probably be looking for some. As the story grew, it put down roots into the past and threw out unexpected branches. All right. Of these phenomena, which do you experience the most? Looking at the clock at precisely the same time every day, sensing someone is watching you, knowing something is about to happen, feeling as if you're falling, only to suddenly wake up from sleep, hearing your name and no one is around. Um, that would be this one. It's strange, but I think out of all of these, probably experience the first one the most. Time is an illusion. Who is this guy? You enter a dreamlike room crowded with strange individuals and wonders. What do you do? I challenge the Sphinx to a game of riddles. I ignore the distractions and look for the look around the room for clues on how to leave. I weave my way through the crowd and slip out undetected. I resist the need to explain the strange place and embrace its delights. I happily drink from the crone's cup and embark on a spiritual journey. That is not like me. I uh, would be fairly calm enough. I believe that I would try to slip out. It's either of these two answers, I believe. Um, definitely not so great at riddles, to be honest. So I would probably do this. Precipitate as whether she appeared from somewhere, then evaporated, leaving only memory. Haruki Murakami. All right. Whole crowds of people impossibly vanish in broad daylight, fear and chaos take over the streets. What do you do? Do my best to keep the peace in the streets. Ask the tarot, tarot cards to illuminate the path. Watch from a safe distance at home. Try to find answers in history books in the library. Help prove that any paranormal occurrence can be explained by science. Watch from a safe distance at home. The strongest of all warriors are those two, time and patience. All right. How do you identify with the statement, I often experience deja? All right, buddy. I see what you did there. All right, let's see what we get here. Profile assessment completed. Application submitted to paranormal branch. The paranormal can be unpredictable, which is why the LYS curates a dedicated branch dealing with these extraordinary events. Personality type, observer. The observer quester is able to detect the smallest detail out of every challenge, tipping the scales in their favor. This allows the quester to assist any other member of their team who might have overlooked a crucial element or puzzle. Hmm, all right, fair enough. All right, so let's go into the next step. Loading the assets. Oh, is this? Okay, anomaly paranormal trial, click to investigate. All right, your destiny cannot be changed, but it can be challenged. Begin your first trial at the Kolkata Science Institute. Okay. All right, so this takes us to a website, kolkatasciencesinstitute.com. Let me just put this on mute in case there are some audio sounds, audio cues here. Kolkata Science Institute. The Kolkata Science Institute is devoted to interdisciplinary research among the physical sciences aiming to improve the quality of life in India and other developing countries. Okay. 
solve to seek further. Okay, so you can select the points of this triangle. Okay, Kolkata Science Institute excerpt from Satyajit Naskar's private memoir translated from Bangla by Ikram Ertikin III. I do not enjoy speaking of my life in Bengal in the later 1890s. To this day, I strive to free myself of the karma of my violence. In those years, my orphan brothers and I were terrors. One did not survive childhood without stealing, and no child would steal without permission from and tribute to us. One girl redacted. The quickest and craftiest we'd ever seen evaded our racket for months until one day we set up a trap and she sprang it. We pursued her through the alleyways until we caught her and my brother threw her to the ground. It was then, just as this poor pitiful child was about to meet the force of our inhumanity, that I believed we witnessed a miracle. I perceived an instantaneous flash as bright as burning magnesium. I can't say I saw the flash, I would say I knew it. I had the unsettled feeling one gets in their stomach when they experience a quick drop, but that feeling was everywhere in my being. I couldn't understand it. The girl redacted. My brothers said she jumped up and dodged with supernatural quickness, or that she hexed our eyes to make us see falsehoods, but redacted in one, redacted in another. Okay. Um, this could be the girl in the trailer for Unknown Awakening. The young girl on the streets of Kolkata maybe? Interesting. I will submit that when man encounters phenomena beyond our comprehension, what may be called the divine or magic or the unknown, they cannot comprehend it more than a fearful animal can comprehend a veterinary intervention. So it was with my brothers recoiling in terror, fleeing from the girl and branding her as a witch, to be treated as an outcast among the outcast. We saw very little of her after that day though they often spoke of her as one might a demon. I will also submit, however, that unlike animals, any that I have met at least, man can, through great effort, humility and devotion, begin to comprehend the unknown, demystify the mystical. I cannot profess to have taken a higher road than my brothers after that day, but I cannot deny that the encounter left me changed. I regarded sadhus, <clears throat> I regarded sadhus with admiration, longing to know what mysteries were revealed to them on their spiritual paths. I fantasized endlessly about the scientific advancements being made by fellow Bengalis like Jagdish Chandra Bose. Oh, bunch of redacted. The encounter lit a long fuse that would ignite an insatiable wonder. It awakened the question in me. Interesting. So this Satyajit Naskar is also a quester like us. Alright. The next clue is a bunch of Clocks. Okay. Interesting. And this is a passport. Okay. So, arrival in France. Okay, this is France. In USA. This way. Australia is up top. What is this? United Kingdom. Okay. Another up top. France again. Okay, to the right. Okay, so this seems pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, France, USA, Australia, Canada. UK, France, France, USA, Australia. So, actually, I could just make a quick note here. All right, France, USA, Australia, Canada, UK, France. Okay. All right, so France is on the right, USA is up, Sydney is also up, 
sorry, uh, USA is left. Not bad. Canada. Where is it? Vancouver. Okay. It's to the right. UK. It's London. It's up. And France. Again, to the right. Alright. That's it. So we go left, up, right, up, right. Wait. Oh. Right. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I missed one. One sec. Let me just increase the size of this thing. Right. Let's do that again. France is uh, to the right. USA is to the left. Australia is to the north. Canada to the right. UK is to the top. That's to the right, okay. Should be correct. France. USA. Australia. Canada. UK. France. What the heck? Does it have to be in... Uh... Huh? I think it has to be in order of when they visited. All right, I think it has to be in order of when they visited. All right. Nineteen twenty one France nineteen thirty two USA nineteen twenty seven Australia nineteen thirty eight Canada Canada Ah whatever nineteen twenty five UK 1927 France again all right so we arranged this in uh, put this in order basically of uh, arrival so it starts oh wait there's two 1927s which one's first this is Jan And this one is November. All right. Okay, simple enough. Put this one first. This one here. And this one here. Okay. And now with the order that would be uh, France is uh, right, London is uh, up. Or actually, it's put top. Let's go back to up. <laughs> Let's keep the nomenclature correct, I guess. Sydney, also up. France, that's Paris to the right. USA, that's New York to the left. And Canada, that's Vancouver to the right. All right, this should be it. Let's do it. Uh, right, up, up right 
left, right. Hey, we got it. Cool. Let's turn off the notepad. And go to the next step. Good. Through small steps, great distance will be covered. The unredacted story. You've earned a commendation to help you in your Leap Year Society recruitment journey. It's a commendation code as well. All right. Let's look at the unredacted. Uh... It is one girl called Haruna. It is that girl. It's the girl from uh, Unknown and Awakening. The girl had changed time. But I say she changed time. In one time, she was in one place. The next, In the next time, in another. Okay. I could sense that my salvation, my deliverance from the hell that I was born into lay in the truth of what I had witnessed. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Alright, so we have our commendation code. And go back to the application now. Oh, we can actually just go back here. Okay, so we enter our commendation code. Submit. Congratulations, you earned a new commendation and increased your level of interest. Cool. Let's continue. Keep the music back on. PP music. Alright. Anomaly archivist trial click to investigate. Alright, step one. There will be there will always be rocks on the road ahead of us. They can either be stumbling blocks or stepping stones. It all depends on how you use them. Frederick Knightst. I don't know how to pronounce that, my bad. Alright, so we have another accommodation code to look for. Let's follow the link. Alright, we're back to the Kolkata Science Institute. Stepping Stone. That's the URL now. Alright, let's uh, turn off the music. Maybe there's some sound cues that we need to look after. Okay, mm, this is the same text. Embrace Reason. Okay. Solve to seek further. We have another triangle to solve. Excerpts from Azad Jayad's verse memoir translated from Sanskrit shloka by Ikram Ertkin III. There's some redacted line. Our poverty reduced to rubble, but our eyes burnt like amber beacons. Never again will we be alone, Azad. We are entering an era of awakening. She froze. Her eyes scanned all around as though scrutinizing volumes etched in the air. Azad, the convergence has begun. Make tea. As the water boiled, the guests were at the gate, trembling, determined, the first youth prostrated. I am Satyajit. Please accept this plum seedling. Years ago, I visited cruelty upon you. With a revelation, I come to you now to atone that the seed you planted may bear fruit, just as this tree will. May I plant it here and root myself next to it? Behind him, an old woman, voice shaking, more redacted lines. Days of struggle, toil, building together, the gross essentials of sufficiency, nights of song, reflection, camaraderie, in flights of consciousness, storms of worse, dives of bliss and soulful attunements, our little village flourished and found peace, still more found their way to us, awakened to a greater calling by happenstance, more redacted. A pit of sadness and terror clenched itself in me, and I wept like a child abandoned. You cannot leave, this community needs you. If I remain here, stories about me will grow. Those who have power abhor the powerful. They have come for others, they will come for me. Redacted, yet I must step it. But we dream of sharing all that you've taught us. None will believe without you to prove it. Messiahs become martyrs in this age, Azad, but there is a modern way. We must speak to them with science, the, univers the universality of mathematics, the tried and true laws of physics. Let it be the language of enlightenment. Let it be the dharma of the out outer world. Let materialism unfold itself into the truth. Grieved for the loss, grateful for this mission, I fell, redacted at her feet, as she gifted one more true prediction. Don't know what this prediction is. Alright, next clue. Okay. Hmm. More triangles. Some numbers here. Man's greatness lies in his power of thought. Okay, 9 into 5, 6 into 2 plus 8, 50 minus 42, 12 plus 100 divided by 2, 
3 squared into 2 divided by 3. Okay. The numbers relate to these. I mean, they obviously are solutions. Okay, interesting. Alright, so we need five points, and the five points correspond to the formulas listed here. And these numbers we have to find on this triangle. Man's greatness lies in his power of thought. Who is this guy? Let's find out who this guy is. Okay, so this is definitely a clue. Let's find out who said this quote exactly because I can't recognize his face. Man's greatness lies in his power of thought. Blaise Pascal. Blaise Pascal is a French mathematician. Okay. It's kind of what he knows about triangles. Pascal's triangle. Each number is the sum of the two directly above it. The triangle demonstrates many mathematical properties in addition to showing binomial coefficients. Hmm. Okay, so... Basically, this is a Pascal's triangle thingy. Okay, this can be solved. Um, I don't think my notepad will help though. I'll need something a little bit more graphical. Alright boys, we're bringing up MS Paint. Alright, there we go. This is big enough. Um, Alright, so 1 plus 2. 3, I need to be a little bit bigger. Make it bolder, bigger. What? What? Let me move it. Alright, good enough, I guess. Um, so another 3. This is a 4. Um, 3 plus 3. Six. Oh god, if I mess up uh, simple maths, um, this is gonna be rough. Alright, this is four. Okay, so one plus four is five, four plus six is ten. Alright, so far we seem to be doing alright. Okay, so this is going okay. Ten plus ten, that's a twenty, good old twenty. Fifteen, that's five plus one, six. So seven, we got a seven here, twenty-one, thirty-five, math's my greatest weakness. It's all coming back to haunt me now. Alright, let's put an eight here. Twenty-eight, that's correct. That is fifty-six. That is a seventy. And that would be another 56. Good old fashioned 28. Alright, this is a 9 here. Which means this is also a 9. They do seem to be uh, somewhat correlated. 84. 5670 is 126, 5670 is also 126. Alright. 9 plus 36, 36. Okay. Make sure I'm not ruining this. <laughs> That's a 3 digit number. I need to start over here. Okay. Um, 120. 84 and 
210. Twenty six and one twenty six. That's uh, carry the two, carry the one. Oh, sorry, two fifty two. There we go. And then this will be just, just the same. Two one zero. One twenty. Forty five. And ten. An 11 here and 11 there 55 165 330 462 Poof. okay so we solved it. Not too shabby, I'd say. I uh, might even speed this up depending on how long it's taking me on uh, on the when I'm when I'm editing this. So, all right. Let me just cut this a little bit. Doing this all, doing this this all basically live as I'm solving everything. All right. I'm just, just actually, you know what? Let's just put this, put this away for a bit. Let's solve these uh, equations. Bring out the notepad once again. Oh yes. All right, nine into five. Wait, it's uh, a nine into five. That's forty-five. B. That's uh, two, six, twelve plus eight, twenty. All right, C, that's eight, 50 minus 42, all right. D, it's a 12 plus 100, okay. So 112 divided by two, okay. Uh, what am I, okay. I apologize, it is like 2 a.m. in the morning. Uh, 9 to 18, 6. Alright. Alright, so uh, we've got our numbers. Now we have to find them on the triangle thing on Bobby. And they will correlate to positions on the triangles. Let me uh, put this down a bit over here. All right, so you guys can see all that. Okay, so the first one is 45. 45 you can find on uh, on the triangle. It should be at a corner of a triangle. And it's over here. Wait, I'm just gonna mark it on the, on the paint thing. With a brush, red brush. All right, so we're looking for 45, 45 over here. Okay, so this is a right one. Okay. Next, we're looking for 20. The 20 is right here to the left. Okay. Next is an eight. Eight is in the corner over here to the left. 56, 56 is on top. Okay. And now we're looking for six. There's a six on the corner right over here. So that should be solving it. Hey, pretty good. Pretty good. Move on to the next step. Good. Through small steps, great distance will be covered. Let's check out the underdacted story. 
mother, sister, savior, Haruna had returned. Oh, nice. We're getting more lore about Haruna. Um, wait. I don't know if you guys can see it on... That's fine. I'll blow it up later. All right. Mother, sister, savior, Haruna had returned. Okay. But basically, they're talking about Haruna, like as if she's... Some, uh, some kind of prophet? Some kind of savior. Shri Haruna, and in return you blessed me. Haruna ji, you will not remember one such as me, but you did me a kindness. Okay. So Satyajit had uh, managed to speak to Haruna? Okay. Crystallized by Haruna's presence. My path is still unknown. And that's a capital U over there. To unknown. I fell Shastang Namaskar at her feet as she gifted one more true prediction. Walk this path and you will meet others who know the same secrets, seek the same truths. All our paths will converge once more. Okay, wait. So, so Haruna is saying this, which means... Is Haruna a member of LYS now? Does this take place before or after the game? I mean, we don't know what happens in the game to be honest, but we know it takes place in the past. It does not take place in the present, that's for sure. Very peculiar, but we have our, uh, we have our commendation code. Let's go back to the application. Here we go. Submit. Hey, congratulations! You earned a new commendation and increased your level of interest. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna split this up into uh, into another video. So that's it for this episode, or part one, basically, of uh, solving the unknown nine chapter secrets. I uh, will be back for part two, where we will continue to search for more lore in the consciousness trial. Thank you for watching, see you next time.